This video walks you through the steps to create an analytic or holistic rubric in Canvas. Once you've added your rubric to either your discussion or your assignment, give the rubric a name. The rubric template is designed for an analytic rubric. However, if you would like to create a holistic rubric instead that's more general in nature, what you're going to want to do is click on All Write Freeform Comments when assessing students. And when you do that, you'll see that the ratings column changes and will provide a place for you to leave comments that describe how well the student fulfilled the criteria. From the holistic rubric, you'll want to edit each criteria and add a longer description and just keep adding criteria until uh, you've completed your rubric. For the rest of this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating an analytic rubric. If you're going to create an analytic rubric, you may want to add additional rating columns under the ratings heading. So for example, if you click the plus button, you'll now have three ratings and you can change the title of each as well as the point value by using the pencil icon. You'll also want to specify the criteria for each row by clicking on the pencil icon and typing in a description. Next, click on View Longer Description and add a description of what a student will need to do to demonstrate proficiency of that criterion and click Update Description. To add an additional criterion row, click on Criterion and complete the same steps again. When you have your criteria and the ratings all identified, be sure that the total points at the bottom of the rubric matches the total points you've assigned for the discussion or assignment. If it doesn't, you'll be prompted to make that adjustment when you create the rubric. Now you're almost done. When you go to grade the discussion, if you want to click in the rubric to actually do the grading, you're going to need to select Use this rubric for assignment grading. If you don't select there, you can still reference the rubric in your grading, but you can't actually go in and click on the different rating levels to do the scoring. And when you're done, click Create Rubric. You can now close the rubric and you are done with this step.